So we'll do our LMP2 Pro-Am winners, but more importantly, our overall winners as well. For the first time, overall for Racing Team Turkey. Sally, congratulations. I think your smile, when Louis took the checker flag on the TV, I think your smile said it all. That was a brilliant victory for the team. Yeah, of course. I mean, as a subclass team, it's great to get an overall, uh, overall win. And it's a big step for the team for Racing Team Turkey. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a pretty, pretty flawless race to, until towards the end, really, but uh, we managed to overcome the things that were thrown at us and, yeah, got the win. Happy about it. I say, let's talk about the start and that safety car. Um, obviously, that slowed everything down. I think you, it was the plan. Obviously, you were leading the Pro-Am. You started on pole, but you dropped back behind the Pro drivers that you're up against, but you were leading Pro-Am and keeping the other guys at bay. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to drive as fast as I could to keep the gap in front as small as I could. And, uh, yeah, that was the goal. I'm not thinking anything else, really. And, yeah, I mean, I think we've done a good job as a whole team, and here we are. A good start to your defence of your title. Sorry? A good start to the defence of your title. Yeah, it is. It is, really. Charlie took over the car. I think it was second. He came out second or third. It was, it was fairly well up the thing, but you hit the front. Talk us through your bit. Yeah, we've obviously known, like every class, the, the tire deck run here has been insane. Um, so just trying to manage it as much as possible, knowing that the second stint you'll be able to make quite a big difference to the field. And yeah, the car balance was incredible. Um, and yeah, we were able to manage the tire, which seemed to be better than, than anyone else. And we were able to just pick them off one by one. And then once we got in the lead, just continue to push until I was finished. And then obviously, Give it over to the safe hands of Louis, uh, and yeah, he continued to do the same job. How does it feel to stand? I know you've stood on the top of the podium of the Pro-Am, but how does it, the, the overall podium? Yeah, it's been amazing. Obviously, it's been a long journey with Sally. Uh, too long at times. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, and our goal was, my goal anyway, was trying to get an overall podium, which we tried last year, um, and it was the same goal. Sally had a goal of an overall win, and to get that straight away at round one is is incredible, but as Sally said, it was flawless from the whole team for the whole race. Louis, your third win on the bounce here in Barcelona, so uh, you know this track pretty well. That wasn't an easy stint though, because obviously you had that big lead and then suddenly you got the call to come in with a black and orange flag. That must have been very frustrating. Well, I think first of all, we did an amazing race because yeah, I got the car in the lead. I thought it would be a easy stint to the end, just controlling, and it definitely didn't turn that way. The car was fantastic, super fast, and we were definitely, I think, the, the quickest. And we didn't expect to win, but we did it, and I think that's a big achievement. So big thanks to, to everyone. And yeah, I, then on, on the penalty, I have to say I'm very surprised. Uh, there was 20 laps with this damage because Paul Di Resta hit me quite hard on the full purse yellow, and uh, I really think that was unnecessary. And then there was 20 laps to give us that penalty. Uh, and he came after our last pit stop when we were going to the end with fuel, which was, in my opinion, clearly to stop us from winning. Or, I don't know, stop us from winning, but at least stop us from doing well, because he could have come much earlier, and I didn't like that at all. So, yeah, we still did it, and that's the most important. I have to ask you, because obviously you didn't need to pass Neil to win your class, but obviously, as a racing driver, you saw him in front of you, you just had to go for it. Was that the case? Well, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty angry. Uh, at that moment. Uh, also, you know, from inside the car, I don't have the overall situation. I thought Neil would be far away. Uh, I saw him and I said, yeah, let's go. There is no, no finishing second today. So I had a gap, I went and it, it worked out. He was fair, so yeah. But the car was really strong, so that helped. 